Welcome to Canton with Steve. I got away from the house and all those house renovations. There's no way I could possibly get anything filmed if I'm out there just laboring away. So beautiful wife and I are out here going to the mountains in a beautiful 1997 $400 Toyota Corolla because I blew the uh, differential in our SUV. So this was all I could get my hands on. All the rental cars were sold out, but I needed to get out here to be able to film some stuff in the mountains. I have no idea what we're filming. There's like no plan for this. Normally in my videos, I have a general idea of what we're gonna do, but we've loaded up a few basic odds and ends of camping gear, and we are just winging it here. So uh, it should prove to be a fun adventure, and let's, uh, let's get this party started, guys. Well, it's a severely hot day. I need a haircut, and we just blew the belt for the air conditioner. Thankfully, that belt just ran the air conditioner. There's nothing else. We still got the alternator and the water pump and everything running. So we're just gonna have to uh, do it the old-fashioned way. Got to be the hottest day of the year, of course. Uh, but yeah, we'll just hand crank the windows down in there and drive down the highway to cool us off. But we're gonna get into down the road here as far as we can and see see what we can find and. I'm gonna try to come up with some type of a plan. Super hot one today. Pulled off on this little side road and I don't know. I don't know. Compact Toyota versus sketchy. No, not that sketchy. I think we can do it. Alright. This looks great. Let's stay in the high spots of the road here. Oh yeah. Okay, yeah, um, yeah, this car has no business being on a road trip, uh, let alone down a logging road or anything remotely like that, but this is, uh, this is a cool spot. I don't know if we have what we need to camp right here, because we just grabbed some hammocks. We don't even have a tent, but, uh, yeah. Nice free little camping spot if if we had something other than hammocks here. Yeah, I've decided we are gonna camp here. The hammocks would be a bit of a stretch, but I'm gonna go grab a cheap tent if the nearest local little town of it's a village. We'll see what they have. Because we're kind of just going with what we can get along the way. Let's uh, go find a tent. Okay. Uh, made it to the village. They have a small camping section here, and I'm gonna grab a big like six-man tent It's $120 uh, Which is not bad. I've never heard of the brand before But uh, for a small town store, uh, it's not bad find not a bad find at all and Yeah, grab this thing Because we we literally left in such a rush we had to uh, to get out here and camping and away from the house. So this is what we've got for the tent we're gonna set up. We'll grab a few other things from here and we'll be out of here. After about 10 different stops in this little village, we've got everything we needed. Um, cobbled together in bits and pieces from the various different stores they have between the drugstore, the hardware store, the uh, gas station. Uh, we got lots of, uh, lots of stuff we need. So now we're gonna get back down the road about 20 minutes and uh, back to our nice little spot that we found and we can set up start relaxing and finally have a hard-earned well-deserved step two next step is step two made it back here we're gonna get camp set up here pretty quickly first things first though one word thermocell this is the backpacking version I've come to really fall in love with this little thing because it uh, runs off these butane or isobutane cylinders. Uh, super small, works just the same as those other thermocells. And some people ask about these, like um, if they work or not, how they work. Uh, this is just uh, the same ingredient in mosquito coils, except a lot more concentrated. Um, it's d cis is the chemical, I believe. And uh, 
just heats it up and it causes it to causes it to smolder a bit, releasing the wonderful chemical. And it's a derivative of the chrysanthemum flower. Not that being natural makes it any more healthy. You know, tobacco is natural. There are a lot of natural things that aren't really that good for you. We get this going because they have swarmed beautiful wife and I as soon as we stop moving. And this is in the heat of the day. It is about mid 30s Celsius. So in Fahrenheit, I'll figure that out. But we're uh, we're getting we're getting up there in temperature. So this has lit, and I'm gonna seek refuge from these bugs until this clears the area out. Guess what's in here? Step two. Pass one over to beautiful wife here behind the camera. And uh, she doesn't like to appear on camera. Some people, some people know that. But uh, that's okay. I'm just glad she's here with me enjoying the scenery and enjoying the camping trip. So, cheers. Uh, all you guys at home, crack your step twos. And uh, let's uh, enjoy our step twos together here. Oh, it's much needed, much needed. So, we truly have a weird assortment of gear on this trip. Uh, I packed in such a frantic rush, here's what I've managed to get from home. A couple of camp chairs, a styrofoam cooler uh, that we used, uh, I forget when we used this, but uh, a little disposable styrofoam cooler. I grabbed my thermocell. Ah, oh boy, um, a camp table, some sleeping bags. Uh, we brought the hammocks. And uh, we, we picked up just a few other odds and ends to get us camping from the tiny village. Like, we went through a couple of towns. And they were wiped out completely, like the entire camping section. It looked like grocery stores did three months ago, if you know what I mean. So it was, uh, it was remarkable. Everybody's going camping now. And that's great, but uh, we, we're in pretty remote places, so we're, we're fortunate with that. There's an old sign here that I'm gonna move out of the way. There is some garbage in the area I'll clear up, but uh, we're gonna grab some uh, driftwood there to start up a nice little fire. And uh, yeah, we're close to the train tracks. Uh, the highway's right there, so if there is an emergency, we can get up there for some help. But I really doubt that uh, it'll stay busy all night. I think we'll be in for a good relaxing sleep. Just the smell of the arrow here is gonna be the best sleeping pill that uh, you could imagine. No shortage of driftwood today. We are blessed. Load up some of the, the drier stuff. And I just used the, the chair to bring it back. Little beaver got at this one and chewed it up. Let's see, so we're not alone out here. That's enough to get us started. That'll work pretty good. just form it into some type of a pyramid shape and you can dump on your favorite accelerant this is lamp oil it's kerosene based chop root lid now that'll burn longer than gasoline and it'll light with less of an explosion so that's always good yeah, you can really smell the kerosene. All right then. Ooh, piece of birch. Burn 
like nobody's business. Ah. This one was the only tent in the village. Kinda. There was a few others, but uh, this was the best value and the best option. And it's a tent. We don't have this category of tent. This is a six person. A uh, brand I've never heard of, $120. My hopes are not high, but I, I got a feeling it won't fit in this bag ever again. And then this may take a little longer to set up. It didn't even remotely hint about being an easy setup on the bag, as they normally do. So, uh, if you like uh, fast forwarding, time lapse and stuff, tent time. It's tall, so that's good, but it is cheap. Uh, this is not the type of thing I'll be passing down to my grandkids. Let's put it that way. I was never more scared of breaking a tent, setting it up, than this one here. Goes up a little quicker than a 40-year-old canvas tent, but the, the material, uh, the nylon here, it's so thin it crinkles like a grocery bag. Like, um, definitely gonna be a good, uh, shower shack, changing shack or something, but certainly not a regular camping tent. But got to set up a pinch, so that's what it's all about. And I don't care if sparks get on it. This came from somewhere, and I don't know if it post there but this isn't a, a forest service road so it might have drifted down the river from somewhere I'm not sure but I'm just gonna move this out of the way this is what we found in the small town I've always wanted one adjustable in height so you can uh, down on the coals, lift it right up, like in this case, fully adjustable, and they charged about $60 Canadian for this. I think that's fair considering it's a small village and uh, I was lucky to find anything at all. So this is what we're going to be cooking with. Put her on there. Yeah. That'll be good. I'll let the heat kind of sterilize and break this in because it was new in, the, new in the box and there's probably protective oils or whatever on it. And we'll keep this going and I'm gonna make some sandwiches tonight. Grilled sandwiches right on the fire by the river. It's amazing. So I looked right over from our tent and we have inadvertently set up our camp on a oil pipeline, the Trans Mountain Pipeline. It is uh, a little bit of a well-known pipeline here in Canada. So we are camping right over there along its, um, it's still crown land and, and there are no signs that say we can't camp here. But uh, if I were down this clear cut somewhere, I wouldn't want to have a big fire. I, I wouldn't be scared of causing a, a fire with the pipes, but you know, if, if somebody drives along and say, oh, a bunch of fire coming off of the oil pipeline over there, then, uh, you know, we could get some fire uh, response down here. But I thought I'd just show you that. That's kind of neat. And I think it'd be actually pretty cool to travel down this, uh, this pipeline clearing. And just, uh, it's, a, it's a great, great pathway. Actually, animals could be walking through here. And they probably are, because there's not many people and it's a, a nice, Nice, clear, beautiful path with freshly disturbed earth. And when you have that, you have uh, a lot of berries that come up. Strawberries, blueberries, gooseberries, cranberries, all sorts. Yeah. Time to prep up some food here before it gets too, too dark or too, too late. And just 
simple hot sandwich is all I need today. That'll, that'll fill me up just nice. I got some marble. Oh, we call that a marble? No, 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 no. Marble rye. I want a good marble piece. Get the bottom there. It's all the same. So, uh, on the outside of this, one of my little tricks when I'm going camping is mayo always has to be refrigerated. And if you don't have a lot of cooler space, what we did is we stopped by an unnamed restaurant, which we will not mention, and we picked up some McChicken sauce because that's the same thing as mayo. So I'll put that on the outside of the bread. And we use this actually if we're doing grilled cheese as well, so we don't have to carry, you know, butter and a bunch of stuff. Uh, mayo on the outside of the bread uh, works just like butter. Uh, so one little thing we do Uh, beautiful wife has mentioned using the mayo trick uh, makes it taste like sourdough a little more. So yeah. that is just good. Keep it simple today. Slide down a piece of bread. I think it was a world uh, world sandwich contest, and one sandwich that won one year was the simple cheese and pickle sandwich. So like a sharp cheddar and a dill pickle, and because today I want it to be a little bit more of a meal, some Hungarian salami. Mm -hmm. It's going to be just great. Actually, I'll put the pickles in. You'd almost think I've been sitting here all day having step twos, but I barely even finished my first one. And we wait. down fairly low because uh, it just wasn't uh, browning up nicely but now it did look at that there we go it's gonna be quite okay it's oh. the uh, the kerosene burned off a long time ago so you don't have to worry about anything like that Give this a taste, because it smells fantastic. Mm -hmm. I can see why this would win a contest as far as like the world's best sandwich. And I'm sure they're using way better ingredients than what I was able to find in the village. Hmm. This is great, a charming little sandwich, beautiful little river here. Hmm. So it is time for everybody to grab your step twos and I give my shout out to the list of the people that have made beer donations. That also translates into gear donations like this for when we find ourselves in a situation where the shelves are wiped and we packed in haste. So this is all good stuff. I'm really glad to have one of these. I'll see if I can find a link for that. It's uh, We picked it up from Home Hardware. And the brand on the side of the box said Rome, R-O-M-E. Um, just from testing it, it looks good. Uh, folds up and packs, packs nicely, but um, thank you to all of the people who have donated. I did get a donation from 
Bill. Now, this fellow said he wants to donate to the beer donation fund, but he says he wants me to steer that towards getting a pair of those uh, colored blindness glasses, the Enchroma ones. Because I've, I've seen those videos, they're those viral things where people put on the glasses and they start crying because uh, they've never seen a color before. And who knows, you might see that from me. So <laughs> thank you, thank you, uh, Bill. And I'm gonna start focusing some donations uh, to that way, especially if you let me know. And then we're, we're all gonna see me crying my eyes out in the middle of nature with a few colored balloons. So those are the, <laughs> the shout outs. Uh, beautiful wife just laughing at the thought of that right now. And yeah, I'm gonna eat this and uh, we're gonna crawl into this uh, tent because hard to believe it's, uh, it's our anniversary trip here and we want to uh, hit the hay, get to bed early because tomorrow's another day so the sooner we get into the tent, fall asleep and have a nice quiet relaxing normal mom and pop meat and potatoes basic sleep out on the camping trip tomorrow we'll, we'll come early and we'll get breakfast going and uh, everything's gonna be just fine. As I've said before yes I need a haircut. All the places in the village were closed, so that's what's happening there. Now I've switched out of my cooking clothes because we're in bear country and washed up in the, the river there a little bit. And we're gonna get to bed here with the bear spray close in hand. We're just not even putting the fly on this because the weather is so good for tonight. Not a, not a drop of rain in the forecast. That gives us a nice view of the sky, nice ventilation, and that's that's the goal there. Um, yeah, like even the zipper on this is super cheap. I don't know what I'm gonna do with this tent. Um, I'd feel bad actually even giving it away in a giveaway. But uh, let me know what do you think I should do. I know there's some people that would love to try a tent out to just go camping. So uh, you know, it's not the best tent, but you know, it is something for people that would like to give it a try. So we're going to hunker down here. Then in the morning, I'd really like to uh, do a little exploring out there. Make a really good breakfast. Breakfast in bed for a beautiful wife, probably. And, uh, yeah. So till tomorrow, we will see you guys then. And it's time for us to hunker down. I know. Well, beautiful wife will join in here and then we'll, we're going to zip it up. See you guys in the AM. Good morning. Slept in a little bit. It's more like early noon. <laughs> it uh, was actually fairly easy to stay sleeping in that horrible little tent, even with the sun coming through it, because uh, we didn't have to fly on. The, there was some breeze, so that, that made things easier. And uh, just gonna make a quick little snack here. Beautiful crystal clear glacier water. And what's all that sparkling stuff in it? No, my friend, you cannot make a ring out of that. That is mica, and it's everywhere out here. Sure looks pretty, but it's not worth a whole lot. Yeah, perfectly marbled. Yeah, that, uh, that little Toyota actually does the job for car camping. My beautiful wife and I are gonna be out for a couple of weeks, perhaps. And uh, we're gonna see how it performs on an extended journey. We may have to get one of those rooftop carrier things. I'm not sure. Uh, we're gonna probably change the tent situation here as soon as we can get to a real store somewhere. But that is, uh, I, I'm shocked. I'm actually shocked it got down to the beach here, or the, the river, because this is uh, interesting terrain for such a little car. 
soon as we get the AC fixed, we're, we're going to be laughing. Say what you will about the current state of consumer goods, this three-legged thing is working wonders for us. Look at this. I'm, I'm very happy. This was a, this was a real score. The tent, not so much, but uh, this little thing is just, just doing wonders for us. Now this campsite checks off every box of Boondocker satisfaction. Free, vehicle accessible. Got water right there. Beautiful uh, southern uh, sky so you could set up your solar panels. No, I can't tell you where it is. I'd love to, but I had to keep a few spots, uh, a few spots a little secret. But truly uh, beautiful. This actually is our anniversary today. Now we've had a couple of anniversaries. Like we have our first date anniversary, beautiful wife and I. That was like July 15th. And then we actually got married on today, August 5th. So we are heading into town. We're gonna pack up and treat ourselves to an actual brick and mortar building hotel instead of just the river. So yeah, it's, uh, it's going to be quite a nice street and yeah. Is there a bug? It was a scary one. Oh yeah, no, that one landed on my back earlier. It's this locust looking thing. Um, which is another nice reason to not spend the day of our anniversary over here getting swarmed by locusts. So, yeah. We were having a good laugh, a real good laugh. We were thinking, what were we doing three years ago this time? And before the wedding, I went to go get like a haircut, just trimmed up, you know, not, not scruffy like this. And I walked into like the cheapest walk-in barber shop I could find. And I'm sitting there and she's, you know, working on the hair and she says, so what are you, got any big plans for today? What are you up to? And I said, I'm getting married. And she stops and freaks out. She's like, you should have told me. You should have told me so I could do a really good job. And I'm like, you should always do a really good job. And I didn't want to give her the yips or anything, like make her nervous working on, like they don't do wedding hair generally at the single pins, right? So I didn't want her to freak out and be like, oh, oh no, <laughs> right? Uh, but it worked out good, it looked good, did it? It looked great. <laughs> yeah, and then after the wedding, we called the Uber. Like we didn't have limo or nothing like that. We actually rode with the photographers uh, just to the back of the car and you know, we ended up, a storm came during the photographs, uh, the photography shoot. We ended up at McDonald's, uh, hiding from the store, just having Big Macs, like the whole wedding party in there. Not a big deal. Just uh, chilling at McDonald's for a bit. And, uh, yeah, then after after the wedding, we called an Uber. <laughs> and, you know, just a regular Uber, none of the fancy town car things, like, just showed up and he saw it was, uh, there's a beautiful bride and you're, wedding dress there he freaks out he comes running around to open up the door and we're like <laughs> relax are you sure you want to ride with me <laughs> yeah are you sure you want to ride it's just an uber it's like we, we just have to get back to the hotel <laughs> like come on anyhow that that's the most steve wedding um, <laughs> most steve wedding i can think of whatever it's what we wanted i did my own hair you at least went somewhere <laughs> Everybody's favorite game when you're out here along the water is to pick up rocks that you think are extremely valuable and save them. This is more of that mica I'm talking about, but I could see how this could uh, fool a few people into thinking they just uh, they just found a mother load. Start the car. So that's uh, just stuff like this all over the place. And uh, from my gold mining experience, it ain't gold. Only one way to tell if you're ever curious is to bash off this stuff. And if you know what gold does in a gold pan, if you swirl it around and it stays put really well, um, then, then there's a chance it's gold. But if it just floats around really easily, it, that ain't gold. It's still coming home with us. Okay. All right, we're getting out of this blistering heat and into some air conditioning. Um, we are packed up. This was a good sight.
Not a great site, but a good site. Oh, who am I kidding? It was great. Um, this was a fun adventure. Thanks for watching. Uh, we are going to keep pushing this little $400 car, see what it can do uh, on all these logging roads. And uh, thanks, uh, thanks for watching. Please consider subscribing if you haven't. Uh, and uh, if you didn't like it, uh, please just don't be too mean in the comments. Um, we are out of here and back to enjoy our anniversary. So thanks again, guys. And until next time, hunker down.